Launched in 1977, the unmanned space probes Voyager 1 and 2 carried out an extensive survey of the planets and moons of the outer solar system, and they are still going strong even after 40 years. The twin probes are currently exploring where nothing from Earth has flown before. They have visited Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, returning thousands of photographs and tons of scientific data that fundamentally changed our understanding of entire solar system. In August 2012, Voyager 1 made the historic entry into interstellar space. The region between stars filled with material ejected by the death of nearby stars millions of years ago. We will be able to learn more about this region when Voyager 2 also reaches interstellar space. The second probe is currently in the Heliosheth, the outermost layer of the heliosphere where the solar wind is slowed by the pressure of interstellar gas. Many people are unaware that even after over 40 years, both probes are still actively generating scientific data and transmitting it to Earth. Many of the instruments installed on Voyager 1 and 2 have been deactivated or have failed, but several continue to function. Powered by nuclear radioisotope thermoelectric generators, both probes should be able to continue to operate for several more years. Plasma spectrometer, functioning only on Voyager 2. This instrument consists of two metal devices, one recording data regarding the velocity, density and pressure of plasma ions and the other measuring electrons within certain energy parameters. Cosmic ray system, functioning on Voyager 1 and 2. As its name implies, the CRS detects cosmic rays, high energy particles that originate outside of our solar system. Magnetometer, functioning on Voyager 1 and 2. This instrument is used to measure changes in the sun's magnetic field with regard to both distance and time, as well as to study the magnetic fields around the outer planets and how they interact with their respective moons. Low Energy Charged Particle Experiment, functioning on Voyager 1 and 2. The LECP looks for and measures electrons, protons, alpha particles and other heavy elements both around planets and in interplanetary space. Plasma Wave Subsystem, functioning on Voyager 1 and 2. This device was used to analyze the plasma wave and low frequency radio wave spectra in the magnetospheres of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The PWS continues to take measurements both within and beyond the heliopause. As of 2018, the Voyager 1 is more than 13.1 billion miles away from Earth, while the Voyager 2 lies almost 10.2 billion miles from us.